Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. The headline reads, Silver and Gold Stolen from a Home. That is a pretty scary headline. How to not become a victim. Let's explore. This video will go in a playlist. For those of you familiar with the channel, you know that I like to cover stories about precious metals crimes. And I have a playlist with that title. And there's some pretty entertaining and pretty interesting content there uh, documenting various cases of crimes with regards to precious metals. But it really hits home when it involves the home. And I'm referencing a headline that was shared with me by Silver Honda, who drives a blue Honda, 30 pounds of silver and gold stolen from a Washington County, Pennsylvania home. And it really does hit homes because most of us store our precious metals in our homes, at least to some extent. And I'm gonna talk about how we can uh, avoid uh, such things from happening to us so that we don't become victims. But let's detail this story that is recent here, and there's some lessons that can be learned here, and we'll talk about that momentarily. State police said approximately 30 pounds of silver and gold were stolen during a burglary at a home in Washington County. The burglary was discovered uh, at a home uh, in Morris Township. Investigators said the burglar or burglars broke a back door window entered the home and stole two cardboard boxes containing silver coins and bars, as well as some gold coins. No suspects have been identified. Now, there's a couple of different lessons we can take from this, and we're gonna go through each of those, but my heart goes out to the victim here, but more than likely, based off of the little information that's available here, is the criminals probably knew the victim or knew of that the victim had precious metals. And for those of us who stack, you know, it's a little scary as we accumulate more and more silver and gold. Uh, what do we do to protect ourselves, especially if we're showing it in a YouTube video? Uh, how do we protect ourselves? You know, most of us store it in a home. It probably may even have a safe. We may even have a safe that is fairly well hidden. The thing is, if people know you have precious metals or any a certain amount of it, uh, you are setting yourselves up to be targets. And I think, in my view, especially as someone who has been a victim of the very thing that happened to this individual, that's right, I have been a victim of a precious metal crime. I had my whole stack stolen. And uh, it was only by a miracle of a gunshot that I got it back. And maybe one day I'll detail what happened there, but likely the police told me that um, I would never see the precious metals again because it was probably uh, sold for drugs. And we know the liquidity of gold and silver is perfect in a case that it could be used for other crimes to finance other aspects of crimes. So who knows where it could have gone. It was only by a miracle of a gunshot wound to the neck that uh, led invested, uh, the cops to find uh, the gold and silver. A valuable lesson was learned by me at that time, which is long before I had a Precious Metals channel here on YouTube, which is why I can uh, share this with a relative amount of confidence and with some experience uh, as far as securing precious metals. I want to share that with you because uh, I think security is of paramount importance uh, to me. Any money spent to secure your precious metals is a very wise investment in order to protect your hedges. Uh, and some people would even refer to gold and silver as investments because you work hard for, for your precious metals. Anything from silver eagles or gold eagles to um, gold bars of significant worth to even uh, poor silver pieces such as this silver kitty that was made for me by a member of this community who has passed since passed away, the Colonel. He poured this for me. A beautiful piece indeed and lovely addition. And it's something that has quite a bit of sentimental value considering who did the work 
and uh, you know things like that you don't want to see gone and it's not just that it's not just about you know your precious metals it's about your livelihood it's about anything even if it was a piece of lint somebody that comes in and invades your home to take it um, without your permission it's always good to be secure I'm going to talk about security in a multiple multiple different ways and the first is to obviously be uh, very very careful about who you tell about your precious metals you obviously don't want others to know you have them to make yourself a target. In fact, when I say be very careful about who you tell, it should be limited to those uh, you trust implicitly with your life, um, preferably family members, um, and maybe very, very close friends who you have known for most of your life. Uh, in fact, I would even venture to say more than half of your life you've known these friends that you trust implicitly. It takes a long time and just like it does take a long time for precious metals sometimes to prove their worth against inflation and against the ever devaluing dollar, same thing with the trust that you build with a good friend that you've known for literally more than half of your life. Um, and so that is this the first most basic element of security in, secure, in, in keeping your precious metals safe. If they don't know you have them, well, then you're not a target. But and I would encourage you, no matter what, to take advantage of the technology that is out there for a lot less money these days, and that is to find uh, surveillance equipment. Uh, most most uh, efficiently, you know, some of the video surveillance equipment that is out there, take advantage of all of that. Make sure you keep your doors locked. And I know that sounds uh, like, you know, elementary basic common sense, especially in this day and age, because I remember my... Uh, parents and other relatives says, you know, there was a time when you could leave your doors unlocked because you trusted your neighbors. Certainly that's not the case anymore, but you would be surprised. Uh, still, there's some that don't lock their doors and have very secure locks as well on them. And obviously, it's good to keep your precious metals out of sight in your home as well. Um, but nonetheless, if, they, if any criminal has a amount of time in the home, it doesn't take much time. If they know where it is, which is likely what happened in this case. They knew where to go. They broke through a back door very easily. It was a back door window. So it's good to have sensors on all of your windows and uh, doors so that your alarm system can be triggered and have cameras all throughout the home and outside of the home to cover every square inch of your property if possible, or at least every square inch um, that's around your home on your property. And depending how big of a piece of property you have there. So surveillance equipment uh, is paramount, a strong security system, a security system that uh, as soon as something is triggered, it doesn't call you, it calls the authorities. Uh, that's pretty important too, because time is of the essence in that case. Um, it is a very wise investment to have those things in place. And by the way, for security equipment, um, for cameras and the like, it's good to keep them very well hidden so that the uh, so that the criminals don't know where they are so they can avoid them. Now, most of them that could cover every square square inch of the of the property, you know, those, those obviously are going to take care of most of that. But uh, when you th look about, think about camera resolution and being able to pick out a grainy figure from far away, it's better that they don't have an idea of where they're at so they can work against it. And the other thing too is to protect your power uh, situation. In other words, if they know where your power lines are and that stuff is powered and it doesn't save to the, to the cloud to see where it is, they could potentially uh, knock it all down. But nonetheless, if you get a security system that will uh, be, uh, that will notify if the power does go out and you can see a figure that walks through that area, it's good to have, be, have protection. There's multiple things to think about in that area. I could go more in depth, but that's just the beginning of the at the end, you have to think like the criminals. I learned this after my experience. You must learn to think how the criminals think. So, um, so that's that's another aspect of it too. Because more than likely, they're going to wait till you're not home. Now, some of these cases, they may not be all that worried about whether you're home or not, or they may not know that you're not home. And when they enter into your property, and that. And it leads to the second aspect of this, and that is to be well-armed, well-protected, 
with ammo and loaded guns in every room of the house. And if someone enters the home and you cannot identify them, and they and then they have invaded your privacy, shoot to kill, shoot to kill anyone that enters your home um, that you do not recognize. Um, this is your private property. They have entered your domain. Your home is a sacred space, folks. And uh, every square inch, there's no reason for anyone to be in your home if they are not invited. And uh, it is cut and dry at that point. You need to be able to protect yourself. They have immediately posed themselves as threats once they enter your home. Um, you need to have a policy in place that only people you know uh, that um, can knock on the door and, and come inside. So uh, it's, it's, to me, it's, it's very clear that um, you need to have the element of safety and to be secure in your own home. And so therefore, anybody else that comes in your home uh, that is uninvited, it, you have to see them as a threat, as a potential, as a, as a lethal threat. Because why else would they be there if not to take from you and your property or potentially your life? If they're going to come, they're going to, you don't know what, there's, what is going through their mind. So there's that aspect. But again, uh, anybody that enters your home uh, uninvited, you must act to secure yourself and your property. Now, the other thing about this, if you have the ability to do so, um, and your precious metals are valuable, but also other items in your home that are, have sentimental value that cannot be uh, replaced. Um, you know, you have to protect them against fire uh, and against other things as well, too. So if you can get a fire protected safe to put that stuff in, that's great. But more importantly, uh, especially for security reasons, if you have the ability with family members you know, it's really important and it's good to consider storing your precious metals off-site, the vast majority of them off-site. In fact, what I do is I have several different locations um, and folks that I trust implicitly, like I said, you know them for over half your life, that they can have those stored for you that are in more secure locations that are even more heavily armed, even more trigger-happy than you may be. Although, I tell you, it's one of those things, somebody enters my home uninvited, I'm pretty trigger-happy. And, uh, but nonetheless, it is something that is paramount. If you can find a way to store your precious metals off-site, um, that is best. That way, they cannot be stolen if they're, if they're not there. And, and by the way, you should pick friends and family that others really don't know you're associated with, uh, that you don't talk about a whole lot. You know, if you can find ways to be able to disconnect to uh, a degree of where that uh, where your precious metals can be stored, I think that's wise to do so. Having a stored off site. Now, obviously, there is going to be times, like for instance, right now, that these precious metals are in my possession. They're here right now, but I have a place like some of these have have gone to and and come back, and they're relatively short distance away. You know, maybe half an hour or so. You can you can run and grab them, bring them back, or you may have had them for other videos. But they may be in your in your possession for a certain amount of time. But usually, by the time you see this video, most of this metal is is back at at its original location. So it's 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 good to have something, have a situation where you're where you can't really be a target because they're not there. And just ever so important, security is so I cannot stress enough how important it is. Especially speaking to somebody who's been a victim before. And I'm telling you what, folks, when you think about it, I've laid in bed at night after the incident that occurred. I was not home that night, but I very well could have been. Learning after the fact that the, uh, the, the uh, persons, there was actually two people that broke into my home uh, when this had occurred. Um, and, and they knew that I had precious metals. They knew it. Um, and they took other things as well, too. But um, had they not known it, they would not have made the effort. But they did not know that I would be home. They were taking a chance that I was that I was gone. and uh, But I very well could have been home. And I shudder to think what would have happened if they uh, came into my home and um, 
And even though I knew who one of the people were, uh, I knew enough to know that there's no reason why he would come in my home uh, at that hour of night, um, if not for nefarious purposes. So uh, it is crucial, folks, especially if you've been a victim before. Uh, I'm bound to determine not to be a victim again. Anyone comes to my home uninvited, they are dead. They are dead, I tell you. And uh, your security, your safety is paramount. And what you worked hard for, you need to protect. And you protect with uh, lethal force if you need to. Uh, there's no question about it. So there you have it. I hope this video will help at least some of you. Because again, I cannot stress enough. I get a little emotional talking about it. But security, safety, and what you worked hard for, you need to protect. And no one should take that from you. And the people who did this to these poor people in Pennsylvania, I hope they get caught and are prosecuted to the first, furthest extent of the law. And there you have it. A multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch. And I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.